I don't think there, there's another program in, in high school football that matches our program, and it was because of two head coaches. Not, you know, one just, one just can't do it. You need two head coaches in the school. But you gotta set that ego aside. That's big time, because that, that is the demise of anybody that I know, any teams that have tried it. Yeah, it was never I, it was always we. we. You got the team to throw the ball. And in and, and, and high school football, you don't throw the ball. You, you throw it four or five times, well, we'll throw it 30 or 40 times. He was instrumental. He, there's no other high school coach that can teach the passing game or offense like he, he, he did. And it, it just evolved year after year after year after year. And we won a three, over 300 games and we had 30 losses. And I would say those, those wins was the result of those losses. We looked at each other and said, what can we change? Mm -hmm. And it goes with Sir Winston Churchill, your successes depends on the enthusiasm between your failures. We never put blame on kids or the lack of talent or anything. It was on us, it was our job. That was my goal in life, make a difference. I want to, I, love, I like winning. I don't have to win, but I want a coach to win without losing sight of all the good things that you're supposed to do for the young, young athletes. I mean, we try to build the best culture we could for these kids, and we try to brand our logo so that kids walking anywhere in this province can be proud to wear the C. That C probably means the most to me. That, that's the legacy I hope I left was that C. For Cochrane, for Cobras, for community, for character, whatever you want to call it, that, that C is very important to me. We picked our roles, and, uh, and uh, with his passion and his knowledge and his stubbornness to learn, uh, off we went and we were a successful uh, duo. It's very difficult to do if you don't define your roles, and I think uh, Bruce and I did that quite well. I mean, it's, I'm not saying we didn't get after each other every now and then, yep. but uh, we're both passionate people towards the sport and our program, and, but it, it, it worked out beautifully. It's time now to welcome to the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame 2022 inductees Bruce O'Neill and Robbie McNabb.